1051. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Angela Yee, Charlemagne the God. We are the Breakfast Club. And F that B. Young Joe's here. Young Joe's in the building. What's that, Young Joe? Joe, seven up? years later, <laughs> sophomore album, High Times. What Are you, you high right Dro? now? What's going on? The camera's on, Dro. What you mean? <laughs> nah, he was, I know sign language. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh he said oh, you okay, turned okay. the phone off. Nah, he was, he was like. <laughs> <laughs> See, y'all, you know what I mean? I, I hit my sign language. Thing, now, that, that. that song does rock, FDB. Mm-hmm. And you wrote that song about your baby mama? Damn, Dro. Yeah, yeah, the second one. <laughs> okay. Yeah. How the kids gonna feel, Dro? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, listen, man. She had my little girl, like, my little girl six. I ain't seen my little girl since she was three. Wow. Damn, damn, bro. So, F, D, B. So, is this helping? I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's not helping. I feel great. Uh, <laughs> it's therapeutic. It's, it's, it's going to uh, be a, a moment in life and when my daughter grows up and says, why did dad do that? And then well, and she can say, well, three years, I kept you away from him. Why is she keeping you away? Does she want to be with you and she's punishing you? She, like... she go with some girl look like a me, a boy. Oh, she's, oh. A, she's a lesbian oh, okay. Now. She switched yeah. sides. Yeah, and one day, you know, I called over there to see about my little girl, and 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 and, I, and somebody asked the phone like, "What's up, bro?" I was like, "Hey, bro, I don't be telling the phone, you know, I don't talk like that on the phone, no boys, you know what I mean?" Then then you heard somebody in the background laughing, and she said, "What you laughing at?" She said, "Cause he think you a man," <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh. So she got her a deep throat stud, you know what I mean? Right. I guess she got it because she talked deeper than me. <clears throat> Does that bother you with your daughter growing up in a household like that? It bothered me because when she go to court and tell me, oh, he, he's, you know, he do this, he do that, you know, he's in the streets, you know, and then I was like, well, you know, I didn't speak on it, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? But you're not doing nothing that good either. Got gotcha. you. Know what I mean, and what if my dog, what if you influence my kid to do what you're doing? Got gotcha. you. Know what I mean, not saying nothing wrong with it, but I'd rather my daughter marry a man. Well, this is in Atlanta, right? <laughs> huh? This is in Atlanta. She lives in Atlanta. Well, yeah, but they're Jamaican, so. Oh, oh wow. now that's crazy. Jamaican lesbians? I'm, I'm, <laughs> Why my, you say it like kid, that, my, yo? My, my kid is like Jamaican, so you know what I mean? I'm on but I do have to say, growing up in Atlanta, you're going to see a lot of that anyway. Yeah, but Jamaicans are so against the homosexual culture. Oh, yeah, so and, they and, say. And, I, and that's what I would think. And, and you know, asking her, uh, her granddad answered the phone, What you want, boy? Go on and tell me what you want. Mm. And I'd be like, Where my, my baby girl at? And he's just so mean. And you think he'll be like that on his daughter? And, no, it's not like that. Right. Man, so it's, listen, it's been seven years. Since uh, your first album, Best Thing Smoking. Yeah. Now, the new album, High Times, just came out. What, what has been the holdup? Yeah, what you been doing, bro? Man. You dropped, you dropped like at least 15 mixtapes. Yeah, he did. Well give, that, well, give me that credit. Yeah. yeah you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> <laughs> that was hard work. I mean, to keep, uh, you know, uh, like a little cult following or whatever. You know what I mean? Some of that, some of those um, <clears throat> songs off of the mixtapes were like significant songs like Freeze Me. Yeah, absolutely. With T.I. and Gucci that had never been heard mm-hmm. in history and probably never happened again. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And, um, well, you like, said T.I. and Gucci. Yeah. How did that happen? How, how did that song did They know they was going to be on the same song with each other? You just had their verses. I, I mean, I brought that together. Uh-huh. They were in the studio with each other? Yeah. How was that? I mean, Where's that footage? I mean, players are players, you know what I'm saying? Look, Tip, I need you to do this. You on your way to jail. I ain't no, you know, I ain't no Gucci. Gucci you probably on your way to jail. Some, was, at some point, yeah. We didn't know Gucci <laughs> was, going was going to jail. Right. And they was like, cool, let's do it. And that was just legendary itself within our city. You know what I'm saying? And, then, like, you know, and uh, the song I put out, Polo Down, I, it took me to Germany for like two weeks. That's just simple song. So I stayed down working and plus Young Lay, young lay with my artist. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, you know what I mean? I was going to ask. And, and I kept it out. So that was through 10. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So about, about, about 12, 11, 12, yeah, I was really feeling it. So how so how did you feel when when Gucci you know went on that Twitter rant and he was going at Ti and going at all these artists? I was in there too. But yeah, he, he went at you too. Yeah. But he was fancy. Yeah, uh, drove, I I had Fantasia, but he was on the way yeah. to the thing. You I'm don't thinking in that? my mind, man, mm-hmm. FDB. <laughs> <laughs> like that's in the past. <laughs> like, no, man, like, you, was, like you still care about yeah, Fantasia. Like, the, I'm glad you did that. You was one of the first rappers to get you an R and B chick at the time. You know, no, I was Rocco was. Rocco, who had Rocco? Oh, Monica. yeah, Monica. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's my brother. Like that's my brother and sister. Mm-hmm. And they kind of pretty took me in. And, and you were about to have a reality you Rocco, show. You were like one of Rocco's first artists. Yes, like that. We were very, very, very like took me off the street. Gave me like, I mean, he gave me like well, the first deal I had. Rocco was the street deal. He gave me like twenty thousand dollars back then. Mm. 
Goody Mob had to split twenty thousand. Goody Mob had to split twenty thousand dollars, so that's yeah. not bad. I, I split mine with a girl. So they rock with rock. He sold you to Ti. What happened? What? Well, yeah, Ti came. Well, Ti Ti always like every time I got signed because I knew how to rap. Ti be like, hey, you got him, and then Ti hit him with the number. Like, I gotta get my boy. So he went to rock. They like negotiated a nice number, and then like. Even it? even then, I asked for. I was like, you know, if you, I really didn't care if I went anywhere. I was going to not rap, whether I was you, Lou, to anybody. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, so. But anyway, things worked out like they worked out. Till came got his boy. Now back to Fantasia. You ever miss something? Stop it! Why you that, was that like your boo boo or that was, that was something? my boo boo? That was his boo. -boo. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm, I miss when you know she used to sing so good it make 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 a player cry. Oh, mm. that's sweet. But that's, that's, that's church singing though. Like be upstairs up her no more come upstairs. Like ain't nothing wrong. You know I'm good. <laughs> but those women can sing like 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 I heard in church. And so like, why'd y'all break up? Cause I'm a dog. I'm a dog. You can't. <laughs> nah, <laughs> that is why. It's okay. Nah, be honest. Nah, nah, but you know men always mess up first, and I guess I you, messed up, up. You was a dog. No, I'm not. I said was. I didn't say you were. I, I, I think I, you know, just, uh, I don't know. You a man, man. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. That's, that's cold word, but I was a dog. <laughs> yeah, that's cold word, but you, I was a but, dog. You know, I she, went, she went through a lot. Like, you know, she yes, tried look, to kill man, herself we, and you reached. But, but that wasn't. Oh, that. not because of you. That was after you. How but. you know it wasn't because of me? Oh. Well, because she was with that married man at that hey, point. Man, that man is not a gangster. Mm -hmm. Gangsters make you feel like that. You know what I mean? I don't know, never want to feel like to, that. You have to go find something lesser than, and then you have to look at, you know what I'm saying? Then I'm still a fly cat, so you got to watch that. <laughs> you know what I mean, it's hard. I was just not part of that. But anyway, but you know. Joe crazy, yo. You still communicate with him? Joe crazy. Mm -hmm. Do you still hit that, though? Yeah, I hit a line every now and then. Talk oh. about the vagina. No vagina. <laughs> <laughs> That drill, you guy. did you change your name at one time and call yourself Three Crazy? No, I think I was hot when I typed it wrong. I remember that. I was like, what? You the said hell? you typed it wrong? Well, type, you know, dial, touched on, whatever. Look, check. I, so I was like, yo, three, three, three. But you know, they called me three in Atlanta because, like, we were like, you know, Shaw, you three crazy. You know what I'm saying? You three, you know, Not three too stupid. crazy. You, you two, more you than two, two crazy. crazy. Well, you three crazy. Mm -hmm. yeah, and your girl ain't too fine. She a little three fine. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna use that, yo. And my homegirl home brought three stain. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what have you? So that wasn't a real thing when you said your name was Three Crazy. I mean, no. I'm three, and I hang over the crazy, crazy click, and, and together we made three crazy music groups. Gotcha. Now, what happened to Young LA? Who? He was your artist, and then he had a banging song. And he said, F everybody. And he got whooped by Alley Boy. Then. I can see if you said this at the Velvet Room. He said this at uh, like the Cave. That was like, I don't know, like going to a bodega and saying, yeah, yep. And then they was like, you said that in here around Kanga, you know what I'm saying? That's just terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody got to hear it. Some 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 Arabian man told Tip, you know, you knew that at least said forget you, right? <laughs> And it got just, and it just messed everything up. I was like, why did you do that? He was like, yeah. and he meant it. I said, y'all going broke. I'm like, oh my god. What? So, so where is he now? Where Jesus want him to be? <laughs> now there was a period of time when you had an because he threw first stone on Sh Sh Charlemagne. <laughs> you throw first stone. He casted the first stone. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. It was with sin. <laughs> it was no good intent in his heart. So you were trying to um, put out your album, and there was some hold up, and they actually fans were petitioning for you to get your album out. What was what was the problem? Why wouldn't the label re release your album? Because I don't think that they were comfortable with giving an artist money that is on the same label of an artist that is in the federal penitentiary. Mm -hmm. I felt like I, I felt like they thought that I would probably would have been like a, you know. Well, what are you doing? You, do, are, do you have those mini guns? You know, this is what I'm thinking. I don't know. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I wouldn't be. I wouldn't give you no million dollars, and then I know you hang with her, and y'all do the same thing. You mm -hmm. go to jail, and I give you a million. You go to jail. Right. You know what I mean? Plus, you did good on your little album, like your little gold album, too many things. But we shouldn't trust you. So let's just wait and see if the man get it right. Plus, that was like the principal of the school. Like you, you lead a, you lead the school, and you're the principal. Come back and look how this school is being conducted. Mm -hmm. They're running everywhere. Joe Clark can't even have. Smoke crack, don't you? <laughs> and they be smoking crack. <laughs> it, it seemed like, was they trying to pressure you to do another show with Aline? Yes. And I got 
I, I, I was very upset about that. I thought they should have put that out when you came out with Take Off. I'm about to take off. I, I, I like to take off, but I, I, got the, I got the word through the vine. Andre 3000 was like, he was upset about that song. Why? But Shoulder Lane? Uh, take Off. Take, take Off. Why was he bad about Shoulder Lane? Because like, some, like, some of my favorite rappers ain't coming with it. Take Off was like mediocre. Like, and I felt that way. Mm-hmm. You know, it was cool swag, but Dre wanted to hear me rap. You know, I had not got, I had just got with LA, and you know, I was with the little swag movement because I like, I like to sing, I like melodic music. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, but a lot, of, a lot of people want to hear me spit bars like the ones that, you know, what I'm saying that make me think about my mom being shot five times and me being shot at 15, and daddy smoked dope and everybody smoked crack. They want to hear like the trenches. You know what I mean? And I guess I didn't give it to the people and they ignored me. So Andre 3000 was the reason your album was held up all that time? No, 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 no. He's saying that when T.I. went to jail... The label held it up a little bit. The, the label, label held it up it a little bit. Plus, I, it, it, was a, it, was a, I, it was a nice song. And then, you know, the label did their thing. I did my thing. I don't know. I don't know what I did, but because mm-hmm. I dressed up like and I, I thought I was pretty in the video. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I thought I, and the, the delivery I came up with, and I came up with a new word that year, Earthus. You know what I'm saying? Earthus. I was like, I should Earth, be missing. What is Earthus? It's like two Earthuses. The planets. Two Earthuses. Yeah. I thought it was Orifice. Well, it was Earthus. <laughs> we, we is on different Earthuses. <laughs> <laughs> now, the name of your new album is High Time. What, what's, your, what's your drug of choice, bro? What you like to get high off? Uh, I like Molly and um, weed. Everything medicinal. Um, you be taking Molly's? I can't take Molly's that. Molly's medicinal? Molly ain't medicinal. Well, I'm saying they put a radio for the weed. Charlie, man, you oh. try Molly. I never tried that. I ain't never tried Molly. So what what, what, Molly, what does Molly do to you? I smoke weed and coke, but it wasn't. I mean, like, like Molly. Like, wait, 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 say, wait, hold on, hold on, stop for a second. You smoke what? I smoke weed and coke before. I ain't never did no Molly. <laughs> you smoke weed inside the coke? Yeah, they put, you know, you sprinkle the coke. Oh, the woolly blunt? No, it's like, yeah. it's, it's called like a, like, uh, I know somebody smoke them like all the time. It smells like sweet pickles. <laughs> All right, back to your you body. know, yeah, he's absolutely right. Because when I smoked, <laughs> I didn't know what it was, but you, it had that sweet pickle smell. And then later on, when I was around people that was really doing it, I was like, yeah, it do smell like sweet pickles. I, I used to like fun to smoke it because it would make me go get a sandwich. What you were saying? Yeah, what happened to so Molly? Sandwich. You said you, you pop Molly. What does Molly do you? How does Molly affect you? Uh, if, if I was on Molly now and my lips was close to this mic, I would just be damn near tonguing it. I don't know if I want to feel That's like that. Happened, <laughs> I mean, like, but it's, it's that was yeah, good. take okay. that back. That's not great. So, so you and your homeboys together no, to admire. No. What? No, no, no. <laughs> My lips on this mic. I just no. don't take this. Shut up, shut up, Emmy. Now you listen. Want too? Now listen, listen. No, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Yo, Joe sat up this way. No, I wasn't ready. <laughs> Was, and I thought that out too. <laughs> Stupid Dewan. <laughs> Listen to what I was trying to say. Uh-huh. Say for instance, whatever you're doing, it feels twice as better and it makes it seem like you're sinking into it. Okay. Yeah, you feel okay. me? Okay. All right. And I don't know. Well, I'm, ne- I'm never going to talk on one of these. <laughs> so, what you were saying now? <laughs> oh, Have you ever had a bad trip, though? What? You ever had a bad trip? On that? On anything. Like, ever had a bad, like, right terrible crying and yeah, I did. try to jump off a roof or something? Yeah, jump right in the bathroom. Uh, I, I used to be in the mirror looking at myself like, what? <laughs> but then the, the junker was in the back of me like, nothing you can do to take me away from this. <laughs> and I turned around and was like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> and, and for you to deal with yourself like that, that just... Letting you know that you're not supposed to be doing it. Right, I agree. Oh so what you think of the uh, state of Atlanta since you've been, since, I don't want to say your absence, because like, you didn't put out 12 mixtapes, <laughs> but in the, the time that you haven't put out an official project, how do you think Atlanta has changed? Uh, well, I mean, we, we, don't, we don't rap no more like we used to do in the Outcast days. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's cool, you swag, you know what I'm saying? But without the tips, Jeezy's and Droz and, you know what I mean? We'll just be back, like, dancing again, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. And that's where we come from, I'm not ashamed of that, you know what I mean? Because that's what I, I like that, I like that, you know, doing the yeek and all that, you know, I love that. And, and frequently just verified that we do, have, you know, we have a good time. Yeah. And, you know, and, it, and it's like a, a Miami, Atlanta thing, you know, we always doing things like dances and, you know what I'm saying, coming up with and enjoying our music. Even if your even if your music is not a dance song, we'll make one. Mm-hmm. So, but 
the only, that's that's the only thing that changed people was we, we knew how to rap. First we we used to do, do the booty club thing, then we understood what rap was. And, you know, some of us still do. You know what I mean? But a lot of young cats aren't really rapping. They're not rapping. They never try to never, get you on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta? Yes. And you said no? I kinda like dead it half the city, so I don't wanna go through that. I don't see why you wouldn't do it, man. You made for the camera, man. Yeah, but, I think so. But, but, Maybe your own show. But I mean, you know. T.I. was trying to get you your own show at one point. I mean, well, that was going to, it was going to, that was a me and Fantasia show. Oh, okay, okay. And then you effed that up. I mean, well, I didn't want to get married. You don't have to get married because you're on oh, show together. Gonna pay for, it was going to be a pay for the wedding thing, married. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's a good reason to get married. They're going to pay for the wedding and everything. Uh, that's not a good reason. Yeah, that's so. That sounded so not right. Oh, you're too good to say that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. I'm saying if you're in a relationship already, they're gonna pay for the wedding. I wasn't ready. So you think wasn't, I wasn't break? ready. And she probably would be all right with you. But, um, no, but look, they she, she probably would be all right with you cheating. Cause uh, I mean, as Charlamagne you always says, right with me cheating because I'm never gonna let you know. <laughs> <laughs> you think you could be monogamous? Uh, I can't. You said I can't. I can't. It's not meant for a man to be monogamous, man. Just like there's so many different fruits on this planet. You got apples, oranges, cantaloupes, I, I, watermelon. That's why he created all this variety of women the same and way. And they create a variety of men as well. That doesn't mean you have well, to then be a hoe. But I think that you, like, I, I always, I get upset with girls when they be oh, you cheated? I'm like, well, they've been doing this since Israel days, you know? I can't, well, I can't do nothing about that. So if a woman cheats on you? So be it. I, I, I'm not talking about the 10 I've already cheated on her. All right, so it's fine. And so it's we even now. Yeah, now you even. Yeah, Joe's because right. I can't cheat without a girl, so you girls are just as bad as we are. Oh, okay, so we're guilty. When I leave out the door and go have sex with a woman, I'm going to have sex with a woman. You know what I'm saying? And it takes two hands to clap, so we're in there like this. <laughs> I like how the lights dim. Clap <laughs> on, clap off, the clapper. <laughs> are you honest about it, though? Like, if you get caught, or are you alive? I'm not honest. I just don't tell you. But I'm saying if you get caught and she's like, yo, what's this in your in your phone? You're going to get caught. You can't catch a player. There you go. Oh, God. The cheat and not now, get caught. See, but look, though, check this. You got to claim what you do. If I sit up here and tell you I'm a sorry guy, you, <laughs> sorry guy, you ain't going to catch me. You saying both can't catch me. <laughs> did, Fantasia, did, Fantasia, did you ever cheat on Fantasia? Hell yeah. Of course I did. But it wasn't love. You know what I mean? I just. You ain't I mean, love no other girls. You just. love no other girl. I used to love her. Mm -hmm. I mean, you still love other it? chicks know it. That, but that you, that makes chicks gravitate to you so much. And I mean, I treat them like so. Oh, you like that? Yeah, put your clothes down right here. Yeah, all that. You know what I mean? And, and so afterwards, you can feel bad about yourself for putting yourself out there. Yeah. You know, while I got a girl. There you go. You cheating, cheating with a man. So you it know goes both girl. ways. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You might think that this is being wrong, but I'm teaching you how to be a slut. I understand. Damn it, Joe. Joe. I understand exactly what you're saying, my yeah, brother. I feel bad after this. <laughs> now, was there ever a point? And now I don't love you. Don't call me and knocking on my door feeling some type of way. That's your. That's your. Those are your actions. You know what I mean? But I'm gonna be a man. That thing gonna grow and it's gonna get in here. Excuse me. It's gonna grow. <laughs> and it's gonna get in. Joe, who hurt you, Joe, man? I haven't. Been, I haven't been hurt. I go with 24 year Cambodian. You know what I mean? And ain't nothing hurting about that. Yeah, but, you had a new girl. How long y'all been together? A day. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, nah, we've been together. See, he for, know better. No, nah, we've, we've been together for like two years. Two years. Mm -hmm. is, she, is, she, is she the one? Boy, she the thousand. You <laughs> know what I mean? She three good. Three good. You <laughs> know what I mean? I ain't, I don't plan on. I don't plan on doing all that. I'm 33. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. No, I, I, I didn't did. It. I had a share. I had my share. Mm -hmm. If I was a, a little bit too greedy. You know, with somebody drink beer, smoke cigarettes, where you been? You know what I'm saying? You can't do nothing. You done had it all. Don't you cry. You're looking at it like, I, I wish I would have been nicer. You know what I'm saying? I, you can accept. You know what I mean? I accept. I haven't, I haven't committed myself yet, but I know I don't want another girl. So you want to put that ring on the finger, man? Shout out to me, Everybody else gets married. Hey, man, you get that ring. It got to get bigger every year because you're going to get more and more un, uh, like undecided. You know what I mean? That's fine. I mean, I believe in polygamy, so I figure if I want five wives, no. I gotta get one first. Well, that sounds like something Tim said. <laughs> uh, goodbye. Uh, whoa, whoa. Oh, so T.I. believes in polygamy? <laughs> I mean, well, I think he believes in five wives. <laughs> 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 Was there ever a point where you wanted to leave Grand Hustle? Did you ever get frustrated with them? Yeah. It's the point I lost faith in God. Who's Grand Hustle? Damn. 
You know what I'm saying? Why'd you lose faith in God? I mean, I mean, like, because, like, you know what I'm saying? Some sheep get lost. The faith is lost. I couldn't have a strong faith and be down there. Right. You know what I mean? Sometimes things ain't going right. Yeah. How'd you get your faith back? Hope. I believed. Mm. I mean, then I had to start trusting myself. Mm -hmm. I mean, instead of others. I put my destiny in a lot of people's hands, and then I had to realize that they, they were just human. Right. And, you know, they they don't even understand their own life, which they try to predict mine. Mm -hmm. That's, now, you should be a magician. Well, you know, destiny is not a matter of chance. It's a matter of choice. You think you might have been making poor choices? You think. Yeah, think. <laughs> I'm thinking of that. Now, listen, <laughs> were, they, were they ever mad at Grand Hustle that you were putting out all these mixtapes but no albums because they weren't seeing I did that because I let them know that I know you ain't finna let me sit here and rap better than 90% of this place and not give away this music. Oh, put, wait to put it, no, leak. Go put it out, yeah, nah, uh, nah, freeze, love it, nah. Put it out, put it out, put it out. Thank you, God, for so respect it, boom. You know what I mean? But in my heart, God is my right hand witness. I know I write bars, mm. you know what I mean? And I don't care what you think, you know what I mean? And I don't care how much money I make, whoever I see, if I die today, I'll die doing like what I love. Now, I always say Dro's so descriptive with his bars. The only other person that is as descriptive as Dro is Ghostface. Mm -hmm. and, and, we're Capricorn, so you know what I mean? I'm a Capricorn. It's the way y'all describe things. You know Capricorn freaks. It's very people. passionate. It's very, you know. Yeah, you have to kiss. A kiss is more than sex to, to a Capricorn. You tell the truth, girl. Don't be looking at me. <laughs> 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 So you, how do you like to do Hustle Gang roster? Very good. Mm -hmm. uh, Chip, I, I love, truth. I love, I love this playing, you know, like because you, you come to, you sign us, and you think about Atlanta. Mm -hmm. We are Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it, it makes them feel good to come in and see me eat that it. <laughs> eat that butt kick. God, well, who can rap? Mm -hmm. Bar for bar, but we'll be in jail forever. You understand me? <laughs> you understand so and, I, and it's competition, you know. When you when you going with B O B, come on, phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Tip, you better if don't have me name by Young L A. I don't know the man that drove out. I said, boy, <laughs> it's on. You feel me? Stuff yeah, like that. Do B come through? Mm -hmm. I got the swag you ain't never had. You know, shout me shot in the and everything. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Got to feel him. You know, hey, home, straight up, shining. So you know what I mean? And, and it got boot sporty. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, and Boop, 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 Boop Daddy, like, he a legend in Atlanta. He made a million dollar scapula, scapula tickets. Mm. You know what I mean? Supposed to be the person so bad. I'm talking about not this whole top group. I mean, not not saying that these are, these are the people that won out of this. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Well, uh, we feel that trait. You know what I mean? All my people, like, you know what I mean? From, from everybody, bro. Like, you know what I mean? I could say, but me, I'm the most project one. Like, I stayed in the ghetto. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, bankhead, bankhead, bankhead. No, nah, I stayed in bankhead court. You know what I'm saying? Project. You know what I mean? Everybody's driveway is the driveway. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Roaches on the regular, catch the rats. I'm talking about if we would have ate rats, we would have been so bountiful. <laughs> 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 Do you think when you got to a certain level, like did the hood help or hurt you? Because sometimes you, you, you can play the hood too much when you should be going yeah, the other yeah. way. Um, I get I, well, you know. I, I read the Bible a lot. I used to give give blessings to people that actually, like, they first say, "I give you a dollar, you just throw it in the garbage." It, it's disrespectful. I didn't slave hell and hot water for that dollar. Mm -hmm. You just threw it in the garbage. I did that for at least five years, and uh, like they set me up, tried to rob me and everything. <laughs> but you know what I mean? I bound bad. I shoot man that thing. It's on. It's on the internet. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I ain't say nobody name. I just said, you know what I mean. Right. You know what I mean. People that you thought loved you tried yeah, to rob you. Kim shot out through my pants, lay all in the bins. You know what I mean. But that same day, I think my daughter orientation. I'm in there. I had to, I think I had to cover my eye because I jumped the fence. I'm shaking like pff, I got Parkinson's in there. They like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, man, but my kid. I'm the only parent in there that just got the, you know, in a shootout robbery type. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. It was, it was, it but was you crazy. still made it. So. I made it, but I pulled up, grabbed, fixed my shirt, and went, hey, man, saw my daughter. That's what it is. That's so the most important thing. So did that make you stay away from the hood after that? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs>
For what? I was born in Atlanta in, on American soil. I will not let you run me from nowhere. Right. Don't kill me, kill me. You know what well, I mean? Well, not that, but, you know. I mean, well, yeah. And Talk, man. Just speak sure. freely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what's next for Young Drill? High Times is out. High Times is out. Um, we're going to get these visuals out there, man, and, um, and just stay working. We work what about going on tour? Are you going to go on tour? You know, I, I, I've been on tour one time. I fly everywhere I go. I, I went on tour, and I saw how tour was. Mm-hmm. I, I, I love people, but I can't. I, I just, just sit me in first class, let me get there and go on. So he's like one-offs. He ain't going to city to city. I, on bus. You don't want to get on that bus? In 2007, I've been flying. I, no bus tour. I did but one bus tour thing. We went from, we did 30 days on the road. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You hated it. I hated it. I, I needed my where's my personal assistant? Get this, get that. Uh what what what? You not sleep what? You be that bunk with the T V and the satellite. You know what I mean? So this guy that still wanna hold on. So this is the guy that still wanna stay in the hood. I, you wanna this stay is what in the I hood. Mean when I go to my condo, I don't fly I don't take tours. I take I get off the plane, go to the hotel room, click, click, order food, get up, do the show, fly back home. But then you wanna stay in the hood though. But yeah, you but when you travel, you gotta go bougie. first class, no, get not, your assistant, it's not like hotel. That. I pay, I've 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 done enough work to not be hood anymore. But I just do, I do think this though. I mean, most people prefer to be able to get on their their hood. nice plush tour bus because tour buses, you know, they can be nice and plush. It was TV. plush, but yeah. we were on there with like twelve guys. Okay. I'm the only one on there with a personal assistant, though. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't gonna go without her. Mm-hmm. Pick what up, man. I pay dearly. You know what I mean? And my daughter was very precious. She peed. I changed it up until she was. Old enough to get out of Pampers, I never changed her. I have a hundred dollars right there. Change that. It's just certain things I don't do. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Young Dro. Young Dro. Albums in stores man. right now. High times. Make sure you get it. Yeah. And he will not change a pamper. I love you to death, but I ain't with that. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Breakfast Club. Is Young Dro. Real people, real celebrities, real talk. Join the Breakfast Club. We stay morning 6 to 10.